She wrote the landmark report on domestic violence. Now Dame Quentin Bryce is making sure her reforms are acted on. Since these uh, events of the last week, it's become uh, an urgent matter, uh, an emergency. The deaths of Tara Brown, Karina Locke and a little six-year-old girl have shocked the state and our government into action. Domestic violence deaths will now be reviewed. 300 body-worn cameras will go to Gold Coast police officers and the way police deal with domestic violence victims will be overhauled. We want to see the most senior sergeant, the most senior officer in charge, sign off on the action that is proposed to be taken. A new integrated response model will be trialled in Beanley and Logan. This is really about hospitals, police, our justice system, corrective services and domestic violence support agencies working together, sharing information to keep victims safe. Some laws will need to change for the Premier's plan. The first of them will be put to Parliament this week. The response has bipartisan support, but lawmakers from both sides know legislation won't fix everything. It requires a community's response. It requires, um, particularly, I think, men to stand up and say this is unacceptable and to set a better example. I don't want to wait till the end of the year, frankly. I don't want to wait even until another summit and I'm going to have more to say on this subject before the end of the week. The stakes are just so high. Already this year, 20 Queensland women have died and countless more have suffered violence at the hands of their partner or former partner. Michael Best, Nine News.